Everybody, welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. Happy college football season. We've got week zero in the books. Week one, getting ready to get going. Action on Thursday and Friday, and a big one in Gainesville at the Swamp on Saturday, Ben Hill Griffin Stadium, where the Florida Gators and Miami Hurricanes will play a crucial opener for both squads. This is a make or break season. Uh, for potentially both coaches. Mario Cristobal, that's debatable, but certainly uh, when you think of Florida, you think that Billy Napier, uh, and this is uh, being backed up by the betting markets, can be potentially the first coach fired if the Gators don't get off to a strong start. Florida really up against it, considering that the last three seasons just haven't gone well. They've gone six and seven, six and seven, and five and seven. Napier, uh, 11 and 14, so only two of those seasons were under his watch uh, at Florida, where uh, as he came over from the Louisiana Rage and Cajuns, where he went 40 and 12, and was certainly expected to have great success immediately with the Gators. That hasn't happened. Uh, he brought over his running back, Montrell Johnson, brought over a big offensive tackle that has uh, already been uh, an NFL draft pick and is starting in the league. So he came over with some guys. He inherited some guys. He's put together some great recruiting classes, but the results on the field haven't been there, which puts pressure on Florida to defeat the University of Miami in this opener, potentially, particularly since they're at home. But the Miami Hurricanes are actually a road favorite here, getting two and a half, uh, give, giving two and a half to three points, depending on where you shop. Total is set at 54, and that's where we'll go here because. To me, I think this is one of those games where both coaches are desperate to get off to a good start, and I think this will be one of those back-and-forth affairs in the fourth quarter where the team that has the ball last ultimately wins. And uh, although early in the season you expect the defenses to be ahead of the offenses, I think uh, styles make fights, and in this regard, Miami's going to want to push tempo and get their offense going. Their quarterback is... A, Cam Ward, uh, a new kid who uh, played at Washington State, incarnate word before that, and is known for slinging it all over the field. He can run, too, uh, but really well-versed in the air raid offense. And the Miami Hurricanes offensive coordinator is uh, a second-year guy who uh, has experience with Dana Holgerson at Houston. Last year, his quarterback was, uh, was uh, Kyle Van Dyke, who's now at uh, Wisconsin, but uh, Shannon Dawson uh, is the offensive coordinator for the, the Hurricanes. He's going to want to get uh, a balanced offense first and foremost because they have Damian Martinez, who is at Oregon State. Uh, but if Martinez can get that ground game going, Miami's going to look to sling it because that's what Cam Ward does best. So we'll see if Florida is up to the challenge of stopping them. Miami's team total in this game is set at 28 and a half. Florida's is set at 24 and a half. And they've got some continuity in place with former Wisconsin star Graham Mertz under center as their quarterback. Mertz had some uh, really nice moments last season. I thought he was one of the bright spots for Florida all year long. He got hurt late in the season against Florida State. Uh, and is looking to bounce back in what will be his final season in Gainesville and in, in all of college football. Uh, so wants to go out a winner. Napier lost 24-11 in the season opener in Salt Lake City to Utah last season, uh, and the Gators ultimately crashed and burned with five consecutive defeats to close out a rough campaign. That's why he's under the microscope. That's why if the month of September doesn't go well, I think uh, – he will be uh, discarded uh, before the season is uh, over and be potentially before September ends. We'll see what the Gators are able to do after this game. It, it won't be the end of the world if Miami defeats Florida, but certainly it would not be a good start. Mario Cristobal is uh, Miami's head coach. He hasn't had a, a lot of success with his alma mater either. Um, he started out in Miami at Florida International. Uh, and then moved on to Oregon, which everybody remembers didn't have a ton of success there, but also wasn't terrible. Uh, his record coming into this season is a very mediocre 74 and 73, and he's just 12 and 13 at the U. 
uh, despite a lot of uh, recruiting uh, wins and the fact that NIL money is uh, freely spent down there in Coral Gables. So Cristobal is under pressure to perform as well. Uh, talked about Cam Ward. Ward, his uh, uh, the number to throw a touchdown in this game, TD props wise, is uh, one and a half. So I think that Ward could potentially throw for two touchdowns in this game. He's got uh, Xavier Restrepo as his top target. Restrepo is a, a proven commodity who should be able to get some wins uh, unless he's double covered. So I think Restrepo is a solid touchdown prop uh, pick. I think Montreal Johnson, the Florida running back, is as well. Johnson heavily invested in seeing Napier do well. He was recruited by him out of high school, followed him to Louisiana Lafayette, and then obviously to Gainesville. Uh, and he is a very talented running back. So if uh, Florida can open some holes for him, I like him to score a touchdown in this game too. But our, our game for the our pick for the free play in this Wager Talk TV video is officially the over on 54 points. And I'll say that you also need to check the weather before this 3.30 Saturday afternoon start because there is a chance of rain, in which case – the total might dip a little bit and still like the over because rain in Florida at this time of year, it could rain for about two minutes to, uh, with a torrential downpour and then go away altogether. It could be raining on one side of the street and not the other. So you really have to uh, be careful with rain being in the forecast because you can say that any day uh, in Florida. And this is northern Florida. Again, uh, the weather forecast does call for rain but it will cool things off considering it'll be in the 90s. Uh, I think Graham Mertz will have a strong start to his senior season, and I'm looking forward to seeing what Cam Ward can do. So even though the under has uh, won in each of the last four meetings between these teams, we're going with the over slight lean to Miami. They're two and three in their last five road openers though, and uh, Florida certainly has the talent to get this job one and uh, Miami lost their last trip into Gainesville 26 to 3 back in 2008. These teams met on Labor Day weekend in Orlando back in 2019. That's the last time they played. Florida won that one too. I think Miami has a shot to win this game. Certainly they're favored slightly to do so, but the play here is on the over. Make sure you're subscribed to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV so you never miss a free pick video. You can digest our information, invest in it any way you like, fade or follow. And follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro. Check out our uh, specials at Sports Memo and Wager Talk. Now with the college football season going uh, at Sports Memo, we have a uh, 14-day all-access package for $158. But uh, you get 21 days off all-access service from your favorite handicapper. So you can choose me. You get $79 for free. That's basically a free week of football. So check out all of our packages uh, peruse the site, pick the deal that's best for you, and let's make some money together. You can follow me at sm.buzz slash TDM. Once again, Florida hosting Miami. We like the over on 54 points. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.